So what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd be fine to do a quick video on some trend analysis on Corvettes and kind of cars in general. Uh, we'll look at C8s, some C7s and C5s, really all Corvettes, and I'll take you through a really fun analytic tool you can use in car gurus that shows you really fun price trends over the last 10 years. Now it's no secret car prices are crazy right now. Everything's up about 25%, not just Corvettes, but everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you now and show you what I'm looking at. Now this is a tool, if you go to Car Gurus, you scroll to the very bottom and it'll say price trends right there. And you can do this whenever you want, it's pretty cool. Uh, right now I have it set from start date. Let's do August, let's do back to when the C8 first debutted, which what, February, right? And here we can see when the, this, this is three, three different uh, things going on here. You got your 2020, your 21, and of course your 22. Uh, down here the screen, that's your index. That's kind of your baseline for all cars sold on car gurus. Just a couple years ago, the average price was just about $21,000. Now it's close to 30. So that's yeah, about 33% jump in just two years. That, that tells us that this crazy price stuff is not exclusive to Corvettes at all. <clears throat> now you see when the Corvettes first came out, the first month you couldn't find one for under, you know, 125,000. Uh, 2020 right now, average going price on car gurus is 101,000. That tells me you can probably get a 1LT high 80s, a 3LT spec'd out, so looking at 115, 120. Um, now what's interesting is that, so you see here the, uh, the 2021 started high and dropped really low, where the 22 started low and kind of jumped relatively quickly. Um, as of right now, 2022, the average price going on car gurus is 112, the 21 is 105, and the 2020 is 101. Now the good thing is, uh, this tells me that they're not going up in value, they kind of plateaued. If anything, the 2020 has cooled off uh, since June, eh, it's a little bit. Uh, about 5% or so, which is good if you're in the C8 market and don't plan on waiting for one. Now, it's fine. We can come down here and for my C5 fans, you can unclick these guys, come up here. I'll click all of the C5s. Go ahead and update. I'll keep the dates the same because it kind of shows uh, when COVID started too. And it's, it's kind of funny how COVID started right when the C8 hit the market, so it didn't help at all. Now here you can see, um, this is your index price right there for all cars. Uh, and C5s are, are a little bit below that. Um, but you can see 97 to 2004 all follow a very similar trend. Steady spike up, kind of plateau, steady spike up, kind of plateau, then a little spike and then it's kind of plateauing again. Very interesting. So for instance, a 97, just two years ago, the, the going rate was 11.8. Right now today, 17.4, so that's you know, a 30% increase. That is insane. Um, and if you follow the car index up here of all cars, they're all following the exact same trend. So don't let someone tell you this is exclusive to Corvettes because it's not. Now, and you can even see here that the trend actually for all cars is a little more aggressive than just the C5 Corvette. That's kind of interesting. Uh, so I think prices will stable out in the near future. Now that we're kind of on the mend from COVID, I know a lot of supply chain issues are not gonna fix themselves overnight. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Uh, it, may, it might take a couple years and a lot of manufacturers and companies are gonna use this as a tool of like, oh, we gotta price gouge you. You know, it is what it is, so. And also, if you look through here, you can do a quick glance at all Corvettes um, for the average price right now of all mix and models, or all, excuse me, of all uh, years Corvettes. They don't have the early C1 on here, which is interesting, but starting uh, at a 62, um, which is fetching 83 average price, looks like the 63 is always going for quite a bit. Uh, 67, I didn't expect it to be that much. You can see when the C3 is introduced, a sharp cutoff. It looks like the 
the 77 is the one you want if you want a cheap 77, 79, 80 is what you want if you want a cheap uh, C3 Corvette. And then, man, no love for the 84 Corvette. Man, average going price of just under $10,000. And a pretty good jump from to an 85. I guess it's the Crossfire. I think they use the Crossfire in 85 too, don't they? I could be wrong. Um, and then coming up here, 90 sees a big jump in C4 Corvettes. 92, interesting. Huh, 96, which had the optional, slightly uh, more aggressive motor, like 330 horsepower, I think, option with the with the six speed. It's actually a little cheaper, but this this is an average for all the trims within that model year. And then you see this, you know, the C5 all the way from the 97 to the 2004. Uh, most of them are up the last 30 days and 90 days. Uh, year to date, they're the 97 to 26 percent. Um, I have an 01, uh, 15%, and within all these trims, I would guess this is plus or minus 10%. For instance, 2001, uh, a clean uh, convertible might, might fetch you that. A, a Z06 with decent mileage might fetch you 24, 25. Something a little more clapped out might, might get you, you know, 17. It's not a perfect science, but this is the best you're going to get as far as using an online analytics tool. Um, and this is crazy to me. It's a 2015 Corvette. I bought my 2015 Stingray in the end of 17 with 30,000 miles on it. And I paid out the door 42,000. And it's crazy right now. The average going price of a 15 is 56.7. And of course, this also includes the, uh, the Z06. The Grand Sport wasn't out yet. But uh, yeah, year to date, um, 11%, uh, just 12 months ago. That's pretty nuts, man. And it's funny because I sold my my 15 and I used the equity to buy my C06 to hold me over to the C8. And I think, man, I owed like 18 and I got like 38 for it. Uh, but now I easily could have sold it for 49 or 50. But I also bought my Z06 out in the garage for 15. I could probably get 23 for it now. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. But yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at car gurus themselves, and this is all current C8s for sale. There's uh, about 1,600 for sale right now. Uh, I go ahead and filter it lowest price first. The first few are sponsored, so it doesn't really count in the query. Uh, starting down here, you can see some. This is going price. This isn't like a like a bait and switch. These are actual private sales or some dealers too. Uh, looks like you're gonna find you can find a one LT with not crazy mileage around 15 to 25 for mid to low 80s which isn't terrible from a year ago almost impossible to find I did a video like this like seven months ago where I I said around this time you probably get a 1LT for high 70s I missed the mark by about five grand so I was a little little off there um, some of these aren't bad here you got a uh... no this isn't the caffeine this is the uh... oh damn it the, the dark one after a while the rose something it's okay. Um, but you can get a good example one LT if you don't want to wait for 20 over MSRP, which isn't great. It's not, it's not terrible. But uh, yeah, there's one CarMax right here, 87. So, but yeah, those are where the prices are right now, guys. Um, it's pretty interesting. Actually, let me go back in the Corvette sales. Let's go all the way back like 10 years just for morbid curiosity. It's actually 12 years, but okay. Oh, funny. So look at this. Look at this trend. So you got to, you know, include inflation as well. Man, look how sharp that spike is. You can see right when COVID hit, you know. That's nuts. So, and you can see the index right there. So this is all, all cars. Uh, the point of this video was pretty much the C8's not exclusive to this crazy COVID inflation deal. It's it's everything right now. The cars especially. I read a thing the other day that last year, I think 85% of new cars were sold over MSRP. That's like the, one of the first times it's ever happened. 
Uh, it's not this. This can't sustain forever, obviously. But it looks like a lot of things are starting to plateau. But now, but if you look at new car index, it's actually gone up quite a bit. Man, in just a few months, it's gone up about five percent, which is nuts. But it looks like, as far as the C5 is concerned, um, it's fallen off quite a bit. It looks plateaued. The C8 too looks like it's plateaued. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. I know the market's getting saturated, more C8s. They're literally making 200 a day, full steam ahead. I know there's a lot of supply chain issues coming out of Canada, etc. I mean, the, the transmissions do come from Canada, uh, but there's ways around that. And if Corvette was, you know, needed to, they could always send freight um, aircraft as well to get them down here. So it might push the cost up a little more, but you would get them in a timely manner. So is what it is you know it's just the state of the world right now it's on fire and corvettes are a want not a need but i thought i'd make a little video to show you guys the pricing on stuff where it's going it's kind of hard to see a trend where it's going but we can see where it's been it's very interesting um as far as price analytics man that's really strange essentially strange it's we know why it's just it's it's, it's interesting i guess what i'm getting at so I guess the Corvette prices will fix themselves when the economy fixes itself and when inflation fixes itself and you can see it's politics, I don't mix political, who knows? I don't know. It's just a really weird situation and a very weird time to try to buy a C8 Corvette or any Corvette in general. Well, I hope you guys found this interesting. I just wanted to share this fun little tool you guys can use to see what's going on and use it to your advantage if you're trying to buy a car, any car. You can kind of see what's going on with the pricing. So. Hope you guys had fun with this. I had fun making this, and I'll catch you guys in a few days. I got some more C5 stuff to put on, like always, so look out for that. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Mark out.